For my final stop on this EU road trip, we're heading to Berlin. As the construction cranes across the skyline reveal, it's a city like many others around Europe struggling to provide enough affordable housing. Though cheaper than other German cities like Munich or Frankfurt, rents have doubled in this city in the past decade. The crisis has gotten so bad that local politicians are considering a radical approach, introducing a rent cap which would freeze rates for five years and limiting the number of properties landlords can own. We took the Euronews red sofa to Alexander Platz in the centre of the city to see what Berliners think. It's uh, extreme hard to find a room to live. It's extreme expensive. Um, if you find an apartment or a house, there are hundreds of other people who want to live there as well. It's, um, yeah, I'm stuck in my apartment. Yes, the apartments have become much more expensive for sure, especially when they are renovated. Our apartment was really cheap, but it was renovated a few years ago and now costs 200 euros more a month. I've been looking for an apartment for three years in Berlin, three years, and I can't find one. I have two part-time jobs and I can't find an apartment that I can afford by myself. I have to live in a shared flat in order to be able to afford an apartment so that I don't have to live on the street. And that's just not okay. So Jessica, this is the East Side Gallery, the remnants of the famous Berlin Wall. But something's happened here recently, haven't it, that irks the locals? Yes, well, bits of the wall have actually been chopped down in order to build luxury apartments on uh, what was called the Death Strip because people tried to die, uh, died trying to escape through this part of the wall. But uh, towards the end of last year, the Berlin government have decided to stop this. They now say that this is an official memorial. No more parts of the wall are going to be chopped down. And this is why they chopped it down, isn't it? So new luxury living, new condos that are being advertised all around this area. How is that going down with local people? What issues is it causing? It's going down really badly. It represents a problem that's happening all over the city. I mean, Berlin uh, changed a lot after reunification, but this process has really stepped up in recent years. It's been a magnet for people from all over the world who want to come and live here and work here, and property investors have followed suit. But for people who've lived here for many years, they feel like their wages and their, um, yeah, their wages aren't going up in line with the costs of living in the city, and they're getting priced out of housing that they can no longer afford. Developers are also buying up existing buildings and forcing residents out in order to renovate them. A fate Catherine Anhold and her neighbours at Krosner 36 in nearby Friedrichshain are trying to stop. So how long have you lived in this building for and what's happening to you now? Um, I moved in here with my boyfriend two years ago, he's been, he's been living here for eight years I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, most of the people in this house have lived here for 15 years or longer and yeah, all this, the garden basically was made by all the families living here before that it was yeah, basically just uh, nothingness. And going around this neighbourhood there's lots of cranes, there's lots of new buildings being built, there's a section of the Berlin Wall as well that was taken down for a new apartment block. What do you think of what's happening to your city? I think most of the developments, some of them are natural and some of them are good and I think change change is something natural but I think there needs to be an awareness that um, some of the changes are so extreme and they're really driving people out of the city and um, leaving us with a desolate, um, empty empty area that maybe is good for tourists for the weekend but there's not actually people cannot afford to live there anymore what do you think national governments in the eu needs to do to help people have homes yes i think there there needs to be some kind of action taken because there's too many um, houses are used as speculation objects they're not seen as places where people live and we need place to live indira Monroy and her family have lived in the building for over a decade they were devastated when they found out they might have to leave. Do you think that your government and also the EU should be doing more to help people stay in their homes? Yes, definitely. It's not healthy. I don't think it's healthy. And I think we and other people, we make the area of Berlin what it is. No? I, for example, I had a workshop here and uh, some people, they have coffees, restaurants and uh, they make the charm of the area. But they have to go away, they can't pay the rent, you know. The rents sometimes, they, they rise so fast, it's not, uh, your wages can't keep up with it.
The residents of Krosner 36 have banded together and are planning protest events. They've also connected with other buildings around the city facing the same threat. But it's a situation that's being replicated right across this continent. Vincent McAvinney, Euronews, Berlin.